today we're going to talk about the security elements that you need to ensure are included within your asset inventory so that you're tracking the disaster recovery requirements and meeting your security requirements for how you're managing those assets appropriately by tracking what type of security controls need to be implemented based on the data elements those assets are processing. So as we look into it, all you have to do is become a member of the cybersecurity community. You're gonna log into your membership site. This is what it's gonna look like. You have your members only Facebook page. You can ask any questions over there. For what we're gonna be talking about today is under your information security program. You can see we have a number of categories and resources available for all of our community members. But where we're going today is the information security program. So our inventory and criticality worksheet is what we wanna look at here. As you look down, you can scroll down and you see, you can have it here as a download, uh, just in an Excel format. So once we've downloaded this asset inventory and criticality worksheet, you're gonna see there's a number of uh, columns here with data elements that you have to worry about. Now, if you already have a way that you're tracking your assets, the things that you need to be concerned about with uh, this information is, are you currently tracking all of these data points within your solution or however you're tracking your assets today? So some of the things to keep track of here are very basic that you're probably aware of, you know, asset, if there's any vendor, lifecycle status, asset type, um, the description, Things you need to be worried about for your disaster recovery processes are your RTOs. And you're gonna notice here, there is uh, you know little notes in here so it can really talk uh, to you if you don't understand what the acronyms mean. So recovery time objective, recovery point objective for your disaster recovery purposes, who is the business owner, who is managing those assets, what type of data elements are being processed by that asset, and then what are the encryption requirements based on the, that information. Any other endpoint interactions you need to be aware of, some priorities about, uh, you know, if it's clinical quality, if it, there's financial patient satisfaction, you know, workforce efficiency issues, if this goes out of uh, order, asset control, do you have audit logging involved? Are there integrity solutions? Can you uh, implement automatic log off? Does it have any other interdependencies? What happens for uh, extended length of time before it's kind of causes a mission interruption. Discovery purposes, user impact, impact factors that come into play here. Most likely scenario. Information source, is it derived within the organization or outside the organization, mission critical? Is this asset mission critical? So looking over that, making sure that if you are tracking your assets through a solution, depending on the size of organization you are, uh, make sure you're looking at some of these data elements and understanding how you're tracking that per asset uh, in your current format uh, for all of your disaster recovery planning. If you are not tracking your assets, this is your opportunity with this downloaded sheet to start filling it out. And you're gonna have a lot of the information you need for disaster recovery purposes, all of your planning, architecture planning. Hopefully this was useful. Hopefully you find this uh, refreshing and able to identify, easy to identify your data elements that you need there. So if you like this video, make sure you like it below. Stay secure.